Hey guys, what's up? Uh, a little bit different video today. Today's gonna be really short and sweet. Um, I was having this glitching effect when I started editing the last video, and it was driving me insane, and I thought it was because I haven't updated my GPU in years. I still had a GTX 960, which if you know anything about graphics cards, is awfully pathetic. Especially nowadays when Premiere Pro is really, with their new update, has really become a lot more graphics card dependent. And so it was time for me to upgrade. I, I didn't want to upgrade my whole system, which is something I want to do soon. But first I'm trying to buy a camera that I'll tell you more about in another video. And so now I just wanted a stopgap, so I just bought a, a used 1080 graphics card. And when I put the new graphics card in, I expected it to be all better, and the glitch was still happening. So today I'm going to go over to that computer, show you what the problem is, show you how to fix it. Hopefully it'll be short and sweet, and uh, if, it'll help you if you had these same problems I had. Okay, so this is what the glitch looks like. When you come into Premiere Pro, doesn't matter where you go in the playhead, you see this weird white glitchy stuff here at the top. And everything else seems to work fine, except for it's all unusable because <laughs> you have weird static all over everything. It reminded me of, like, bad VCRs back in the 80s or whatever. But b that being said, uh, I didn't understand why this was happening. It was happening on all my clips. And when I brought in a new clip, it wasn't on anymore. So that told me, okay, what's the difference between this track and this track? Well, this track that does have the static has the Lumetri color spectrum on so let me see what happens when i delete that oh it's gone okay great so that means i can't color grade with lumetri which is something i do in every video okay that fix does not work let me put lumetri, lumetri back up there then i decided uh to go into my project settings and see if it happened when i put the software only on so i go in here and wow that fixed it right away, but now everything goes very, very slowly. It's a fix, and it's what I used for my whole last video, believe it or not, but not a good fix. So at this point, I figured it had to be the GPU, so I went in to find out what the GPU system requirements were for Premiere Pro. Okay, so if you scroll down, it has a list of all the recommended graphics card that it has with CUDA and OpenCL. So basically NVIDIA and AMD on this side. I had an NVIDIA GTX 960. I know, like I said before, an old graphics card. But I thought it still would hold up, and it did up to this point. But when I got to the bottom, the 970 was the worst graphics card that it recommended to use. So I said, okay, I uh, it's time to upgrade. I don't want to upgrade fully right now, so I just did a patch job with the GTX 1080. Still a great graphics card, figured it would work fine. Got everything installed. Um, I figured you guys know how to do that, so I'm not going to go through that process, but I pulled everything back up, and what happens? Same issues, if not worse. So now what? I said, uh, okay, um, I checked to see if I have the latest drivers, because sometimes if your drivers are out of date, no, that's not the issue. I have the updated, uh, the best driver, the most up-to-date driver. So, so I figured, okay, the only other thing I hadn't tried was uninstalling Premiere and reinstalling it. I'm not going to show you that here. Okay, so after reinstalling Premiere Pro, we go back in to see if it works yet. I was really hoping that it was just some weird thing that I would reinstall Premiere and everything would go perfectly because I can't afford to be without my GPU-powered Premiere Pro. And you can see already, even without the clip being up, the glitch is there. Which made me want to throw my computer through my window. It was at this point that I started to think back about how long ago that this problem was happening. And it was about a week. And what else happened about a week ago? NVIDIA updated 
the graphics for my 960. I'm not sure how updates happen with graphics cards, if they update all the graphics cards at the same time, but... But in case they did, I figured I should go back and roll back the driver for my graphics card. Only problem was this was a brand new graphics card. Normally, the way you would do it, and if, you, if it's not a brand new graphics card, this is what you do. You go down here, type in Device Manager, go to Display Adapters, right-click on that, go to Properties, go to the Driver tab, and roll back driver. Now, it's as easy as that. And then you can roll back to a previous driver. This was a brand new a brand new graphics card for me. So I didn't have the luxury of doing that. So I had to go into here and, and typed in download drivers NVIDIA. All right. So you go to drivers up here. You can type in all drivers or GeForce. Mine's a GeForce, but it, it gets you to the same place, basically. All right, so down here, you if you don't have a GeForce, if you have a Titan or uh, some other version of a graphics card from NVIDIA, uh, you type it in there. I have a 10 series. I have a 1080. And all right. So let's start our search here. So we go down here. And we see that the studio driver came out on June 24th, which was about a week ago. So I went to the previous driver, which was on April 16th, and I went to download that driver. Now, if you play games, you can get the game ready driver. I just prefer on my studio rig to download the studio drivers save the file come up here open the containing folder all right so um double click and it takes you into uh so it comes up and you hit okay it's i'm kind of having problems with the capture device while i'm doing this at the same time all right, so it's starting to install. Well, it will start to install after it downloads the driver. All right, you click Agree and Continue. I like to do the Express just because it's going to be easier right now. All right, NVIDIA installer has finished. Close that. Get out of here. Okay, so now we have our new old driver. Let's see how it looks now. So far, so good. We don't have those little artifacts even on the media pending frame. All right, it seems to be working good now. So uh, rolling back that driver seemed to work. Let me double check and make sure we are using the CUDA. And we are. GPU Mercury Playback Engine GPU Acceleration CUDA is turned on, which means we have fixed the problem. So after this, I, I was kind of disheartened because I don't like to roll back on the drivers on my graphics card. So I called up Adobe, and they assured me that... Yes, this was a problem with the new driver updates from NVIDIA. They are having a lot of people call in. And for now, we just have to sit and wait for NVIDIA to fix their driver so it'll work for Premiere Pro. But I'm glad we fixed it. It wasn't that big of a hassle. And now we have a working version of Premiere Pro that can actually use the GPU. Imagine that. There you go, guys. Hopefully you're not banging your head off things anymore because that's a very annoying thing. NVIDIA and Adobe are supposed to be working well together, and when these things don't work, it pisses you off because you pay money for Adobe, you pay NVIDIA money, and then something's broken in the middle, and it pisses you off. That being said, I love NVIDIA. I love Adobe. There's really not a lot they can do to piss me off permanently. Um, so, yeah, we're going to end it with that.
If you like this channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Otherwise, it's not a competition, guys. Let's all rise in this business together. I'll see you guys next time. See you soon. <laughs>